Welcome to part 5 in the video series on Python with AWS Lambda. In this video, we're going to go through how to set up AWS Event Bridge to schedule our Lambda function to run on periodic intervals. Real quick before we get started, you can help me out a lot by doing a few simple things. Sponsor me on either Patreon or GitHub sponsors, subscribing to the channel, liking this video and sharing it on platforms like Reddit, Discord, starting the repo on GitHub, and also following me on GitHub. Any or all of these help me out a lot, I really appreciate it. Alright, so let's get started. We've already created Lambda functions in the last video, so we don't need to do that. Let's just set up Event Bridge. Go to the search bar, Event Bridge. Here we go, click into it. Create rule. And let's create it. AWS Lambda Demo Event Bridge. Great, don't need a description or any of that. We're going to do Schedule, go to do Cron Syntax. Next. Let's go down. And let's just start filling it in. Now, if you're not familiar with cron syntax, AWS wrote an article. I'll put the link in the description below. That gives you a few examples of cron syntax of how to fill it in. The way we're going to do is do zero minutes because we're running on the hour, 18. Day month, we're going to leave this as a question mark. Month, we're going to do star for every, every month. Day week, we're going to do Monday to Friday, not running on weekends. And year, we're going to do every year. So we're in GMT time zone. You can also change this to your local time zone if you want. And also gives us examples of the next time it's going to run. So we click next. Service. We're just going to search for Lambda. Function. We have our Lambda function right there. Next. Next. And create rule. Great. It's created. We don't see event purge connected. If we refresh, We now see Lambda has an event bridge, CloudWatch events attached to it, which is exactly what we want. And now the Lambda function will execute at the periodic intervals that we schedule with the cron syntax. One thing I want to mention is if you go to configuration, if you're trying to run this with a scheduled task like event bridge, if the Lambda function takes more than three seconds to run, where the timeout here is three seconds, it will automatically kick off another job. This can be a problem also and end up in duplicate emails being sent. So the way you fix this is just change the timeout and bump this up to 30 seconds. Now we see the timeout is 30 seconds. This will help prevent any kind of duplicate emails being sent when we have running it with a scheduled event like AWS Event Bridge. All right, in the next video, we're going to walk through AWS CloudFormation. This is going to create a YAML script that's going to serve as a template for creating the Lambda function and the Event Bridge CloudWatch rule automatically without having any intervention from ourselves. Stay tuned for that one.